Hey guys, I'm back. And yes, it's raining. Wonderful. So, back to start working on the old transit here. So I think what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to put the battery on it because I did take that off. Oh yeah, somebody's been messing about here. Huh. That, that locks doesn't work anyway. It's the door's locked from the inside. But so I think the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get the battery on. The other thing I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to put the tent up. Uh, but. I'm going to, uh, basically I'm going to use these frames, there's one there, there's one over here and there's another one somewhere, uh, I'm going to extend the tent, uh, I'm going to head off uh, late, either later today or early tomorrow, <clears throat> pick up some uh, large sheets of polythene and basically just make an entire enclosure, uh, it's January, it's going to be cold, it's going to be wet, so I need to do something so I can get on with the van. Uh, but what have I got left to do? Well, uh, as I said before Christmas, I've got that back door to do, I've got there to do, and I've got down here to do, then go around hit all these like little spots around the place. And uh, then that's going to be it. She will be ready to get into some paint. Uh, one thing I am going to do though is we do have a large heater in the uh, garage there so that will be brought across and I will run that inside the tent it's uh, it'll be safe enough it'll keep the temperatures up but will also it'll uh, keep the dampness and everything down so I can get a nice coat of paint on her uh, <clears throat> so let's go grab the battery see if she'll start it's uh, it's been a few weeks. It's uh, last time I was here was kind of no the middle of December. It's uh, now towards the end of the first week of January. So it's been about three weeks since it's been started, give or take. So and it's been cold. So yeah, I'll be back. Well, we have a battery. Is that someone pulling in? Don't know, doesn't matter. Anyway, let's just. Uh, yep, neutral, don't want to shoot him up across the yard. And here we go. Oh yeah! This is why I wanted to use that engine. It is such a nice, such a nice engine. It just starts every time. It doesn't miss a beat. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm uh, going to move these frames around. Actually, move away from the van because it's loud. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to move the frames away, uh, get the van back, then I'll get the uh, tent out, get it get it put up and then uh, I'll just move the van back underneath it for now uh, got to take that trailer back uh, today so what I might do is drop the trailer off and then just go and uh, and grab the <coughs> excuse me go and grab the plastic and then I get the rest of it sheeted up today now there uh, yeah, I wasn't sure, uh, like I said, it's been sitting a few weeks, we've had some very cold temperatures and I thought, nah, maybe she'll be a bit sluggish to start, but no, nope, straight on the key. I am such a happy boy today. Anyway, let's get on with things. There we go. She fits in there just nicely. Plenty of room either side. So, plenty of room down the sides.
Yeah, when I've actually got the plastic sheets, there's another one of these frames will go up here, and I've got some pieces to go across, and uh, that will actually uh, lift that front end up, and uh, yeah, uh, and it should seal up just nicely there. The other thing is that the plastic sheets will actually go from all the way up there right down to the to the ground. They are what are they? Three meters. So that's what uh, almost 13, 13 feet by. Oh God, I think uh, uh, I can't remember. I can't. I, 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 yeah, I can't think in metric. You know, usually I can do the conversions, but. It's been a long day, I'm tired, and I just can't think in metric at the moment, so, yeah, <laughs> whatever. But, yeah, the van's in there now. Uh, just can pick a few bits and pieces up, and then we'll get the Range Rover sorted, and, yeah. Okay, so I've had a bit more play around with it. Uh, got, the, I've redid this green sheet, and, uh yeah, it's made a good bit more space, so I know it hangs a bit low there, but that that's okay. What I'll do is, when I come to spray the roof, I'll uh, move the van right to the back there. There's a good bit of space around there. But this gives an excellent working area. Uh, I can get all around it. You know? So, uh, tomorrow... I'll go out and I'll buy the I'll buy. I'll pick up those other uh, polythene sheets. One of them I'm going to put on this front, so that rather than this heavy green one, I, I've got a nice light one to let a lot of light in. I might put another one down this side here. Uh, still got to figure that out yet, but uh, that's for tomorrow. I'll uh, I'll worry about that when I get to it. But uh, yeah, it's been a good day's work. Uh, quite happy with how it's all come along. And obviously another sheet will go up on that far end to, to completely block that end in. So the idea is to have it as sealed as possible so when I get some heat on in here to get everything dried up. Uh, I mean obviously it's it's a tent, it's not insulated or anything, but I should be able to keep a nice steady, you know, 60, 65 degrees in here. And that's, you know, plenty of temperature to have the paint uh, cure. So, yeah, that's it for today. I will be back tomorrow. Morning. And it's windy. Great. Yeah. Got a storm rolling in now, which uh, didn't actually show up on the forecast until late last night. But uh, yeah, 40 mile per hour winds, and uh, not so much rain, just a lot of wind the next couple of days. So having to rethink this. Uh, I'm still, uh, I still have to head off and pick up the the other sheets this morning. But before I do that. I'm having to uh, just go and kind of re-rig all of this. That's uh, just button it all down. Thankfully we've got a lot of wheels laying around here so they make pretty good uh, anchor points. Crap. Yeah, it was just blown off there uh, again. Uh, let me put this camera down and let me get that end tied up. I'll be back. Okay, this time. Ah, oh, damn, wish this workshop was built. But uh, it's not, so yeah. Anyway, I think I've got it this time. Ah, oh, damn it. This one, I can't make uh, the, the whole thing. The wind is blowing this way towards me, but this side of the tent is moving. It, as if it's moving into the wind, it's bizarre. It's got to be an easy way to life than this. Anyway, uh, I'm, uh, I have got this tied at the bottom there, so it is, that's as far as it's going to go, hopefully. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to uh, jump in the car, 
head off into town and pick up the rest of the plastic. Obviously, I am not going to put it up today. Uh, I, I don't even know what I'm going to get on with today. It's, uh, I just have to see how this uh, shelter holds up. Uh, what I'm hoping to do is get into this uh, back door. That's what I'd like to get into. So, yeah, I'll we'll just have to wait and see how things go. Anyway, yeah, I'll be back. Well, I'm back and it's still here. Uh, I have added a block down there, which I screwed that leg to, it seems to work better. Uh, I, I don't even know if you can hear me over this, but uh, it's all supposed to die down later this afternoon. And uh, by tomorrow, it's meant to be all okay again. So I think what I'm going to do is, I've got stuff on the Range Rover, I've got stuff in the Astra. I think I'm just going to concentrate on just getting everything unloaded, put away, and uh, then see what time it is. Uh, I mean, it's, it's getting on now for, it's almost one. Uh, I have basically, I've got about two and a half hours of good daylight. I, I, there's no point in even getting in anything, uh, starting anything now on the barn. It's going to be dark. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to concentrate on uh, getting stuff unloaded, getting it put away, and then, uh, yeah. But it's little things like this that really drive projects, uh, timescales on them. I mean, uh, this is now my third day I've been here and I'm still haven't actually gotten anything done. I haven't started working on the van and it's going to be t probably going to be tomorrow now. Well, good morning. And uh, yeah, things are starting to look better. It's a little bit a little bit of rain there, but nothing too much. Uh, so, we should be able to get on with this door today because nothing is blowing away. Anyway, uh, gonna get a few things sorted out and I think the first thing I'll do is this bottom edge. Uh, I do have a piece to go in there where the uh, license plate light went, but uh, I've misplaced it, uh, I'll be honest. I've, uh, I was looking for it last night, I couldn't find it. I know it is here somewhere because I kept it specifically to repair that. So I think what I might do is I might just do this bottom end of the door first and then go searching for that again. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with it. Well, we're getting there. Cut that lower section cut off nicely and uh, just on working the new piece in. Well, I'm getting on there quite nicely. Uh, it is getting on a bit in the day now and it's uh, starting to get dark, it's starting to rain, so I am going to call it today. Uh, I did get quite a bit done there couple of little areas where the metal is just really really thin and I do need to fill it in from behind with some weld but I will get to that tomorrow so yeah that's it for today uh, I didn't get as far as I'd hoped but you know that's how it always goes so yeah I'll be back tomorrow well we're getting there uh, got a bit more work doing that corner I need to actually turn the door up the other way so that I can weld it from the inside but uh, yeah she's coming along nicely I'm happy with the way this is turning out. Okay so we are moving along nicely there I've also welded up the rear end of it uh, filled all in the filled the little holes and everything again so just bond it up and I'm just going to leave that to sit and dry. Now what I'm going to do is is uh, I'm going to just give this door a quick skim of uh, white paint mainly uh, just to even it out a little bit I am coming back to this later uh, next step is I'm going to look for those the uh, doodah lights license plate lights I know they're about somewhere I just don't remember where 
So I'm going to have a pull everything out of here, go through this. If they're not in here, then they've got to be in the LDV that I'm using for storage. So yeah, wish me luck. Found it. That's the little uh, bugger there. So that will be fitted onto there. That's the plan. I think it'll look pretty good on there. Yeah, took some digging, but uh, obviously it was in plain sight. And uh, I'd overlooked it about 25 times, so you know. Well, we're getting there. It's uh, I've been making that piece around the bottom of it to fill that gap in there and around the side there. Obviously it still needs work, but uh, yeah, getting much closer now. I am wrapping it up for the day though. It's uh, about a quarter to four. And although it doesn't look dark on the camera, it, it is actually getting a... Uh, it's dusk anyway, let's just call it dusk. So I'm going to wrap it up there and uh, we'll get back to this tomorrow. Maybe, dare I say, may I, I may even get this door finished. Yeah, who knows? Anyway, I'll be back. Good night for now. Good morning. And yes, it is raining. And it's also windy. Great. So, let's see if anything survived the night. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, well, not everything. But it's close enough. Left off yesterday, I was working on this, the uh, license plate lights. So, you may be asking, why the foil? So, what I'm going to do is, the actual piece that I made that this is going to sit right about there however what I want to do is I actually want to uh, cover this in filler just a light skimming just to smooth it all out but I don't want it sticking to the door and I don't want it sticking to this so I wrap this in foil, I lay some foil across here and then uh, put it all together and then bundle around it and then that way once it's dry I'll be able to separate all the individual pieces off so that's a theory at least let's see if it, uh, I can turn it into practice okay so there we are now the plan is uh, I'll be able to fill down these sides on either on either edge where we're at, and uh, that way, when I come to dismantle it again, nothing will be bonded to anything that I don't want it bonded to. So yeah. So in the words of uh, the Oracle Derek from Vice Trip, is it really a bad idea if it works? We'll soon find out. Okay, there we go. So, I'm going to give that a good couple of hours to dry. And uh, meanwhile, I'm going to start getting on with all of these bits here. And figure out what the hell that is up there. I think it's, I don't know, it's, I don't know what that is. I may have to uh, grind that back and run a weld around there. And of course, these bits here, these are all going to get uh, all hit with the uh, wire wheel. Actually, I don't know how well you can see this on the camera, but this is all most the surface. Is it? Calm down. Thank you. Yeah, uh, it, all, it is heavily pitted, but hopefully I'll get into there and I'll see. I, I'm, I'll probably weld a patch on anyway. This side, Again, it's it's raised there, but it is still metal underneath. 
So I'll wire wheel it down. Again, I might put a patch on. This bit up here, this is all just surface. And this one over here, this is all just surface as well. So I'll be able to wire wheel those down, get some uh, rust neutralizer on there. <coughs> and uh, uh, get it straightened out and that should so that should be okay. The other thing I'm going to do is where these hinges were. Obviously, I'm going to sand that and hit that with the, some uh, rust neutralizer. Where's the other one at? Down there. Uh, I'm going to take this door, do exactly the same on that side, uh, just get under the, under those hinges. Uh, you can see there, you know, it's the same. So, yeah. And then that's really this rear end done. Well, this appears to have worked quite well. Obviously needs a little bit more filling and some more sanding, but yeah, that's come out all right, that. Yeah, that looks good. Excellent. So, left that to dry, so I'm going to now hit it with a sander again. I've uh, had to put the sheet back up because the wind is now bringing the rain in this way so yeah anyway let's get to this all things are rolling along nicely there I've got that all sorted out and uh, it's now primed same on this side so all nicely sorted there it does need a little bit more primer on this side but I'm just waiting for it to dry meanwhile pop this window out uh, not sure if I'll get the other one in today, but at least that one's out. And uh, yeah, so yeah, coming along quite nicely. Uh, did a little bit more on the door. That's uh, just sitting there drying again. I put a little bit more of a skimming on there. It's a case of a little bit on, sand it, just see where it needs filled. A little bit more, sand it. Same with the door. Uh, both of them coming along really nicely. Yeah, happy with this. Yep. Very cool. There we go. I've got her in white primer. These sections are now... Well, they'll need one final sanding just to smooth it out a little bit. But, uh yeah, uh, that's basically ready. <coughs> yeah. Yes, I have got paint on the bumper, but this bumper is not going to be used, so I don't too, I don't care too much about that. That's something that I'll uh, we'll figure out later. But uh, yeah, excellent. And there she is. I'm gonna let that dry. And I'll get some flat black on it, and then that's that done. And then I'll start sanding on the door. Okay, there we go. That, I think, really sets that back door off. I think that looks good, that. Oh, worth the effort. I do, I like that. I think that looks really cool. So, uh, get the rest of these this, these tools up. And then, uh, yeah, probably call it a day. Well, the final thing I'm doing here is mounting the spare wheel carrier. What I've done is I'm cutting pieces of tube which will go through the door, well on both sides, and that will give it some actual structure. Uh, it's sitting proud there at the moment. What I'll do is I'll weld around and then grind it flat. I'll do the same on the other side. But uh, yeah, coming along nicely. Well, there's one in. Yeah, it's raining again. Well guys, it's been a good day, uh, gotten a lot done. Uh, that is basically the rear doors now complete. So I think what I'm going to do is, because I am now moving into paint, uh, I'm going to bring this video to a close. It's been a challenging few days, that's definitely safe to say. Uh, wind, rain and everything else along the way but uh, yeah we got there and uh, yeah I'm happy with the results 
so that's it take care come back and see me sometime have a good one